Hello learners, I'm Ankash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Route in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let's see how to solve this given question. Here, they're asking us to find out the direction cosines, uh, which are, wherein we are given some relations like L plus M plus N equal to 0 and the second one. Fine. So, how to do this is, uh, we'll simplify the first one. I mean, write L as minus M minus N and substitute it in the second and find out the relation between M and N. We would get two cases and using those two cases, we would get two different direction cosines. That's how I'm going to proceed. So fine, stay with me. I'm going to go a bit fast. So stay alert and stay attentive. Okay. So this is my first equation L plus M plus N equal to 0. And next, uh, write down L as minus N minus N. Uh, and take my, and now substitute it in the second equation. This is my second equation. Just substitute it. Fine. Uh, here, wherever you, where you see L, see here I see L here and here. So this one minus 2N into minus N minus N. And... L is here, so put M a bit aside, a bit first, minus 2M into minus M minus M. I hope you understood this step. Now next, some basic multiplication, uh, if you were to see, see uh, minus 2N into minus M, uh, what I'd get is uh, plus 2MN and minus 2N into minus N, so plus 2N square and minus 2M into minus M, 2M square and minus 2M into minus N, it's going to be plus 2M. So this is what I have. Okay, now to simplify here, I have mn plus 2mn plus 2mn. So, it's 5mn, okay. And I'm going to write it in order. First, I'm going to write 2m square plus 5mn plus 2n square. That's what you're going to see. Okay, now it's time to factorize. Uh, write this 5mn as 4mn plus mn, okay. Just as you can write 5x as 4x plus x. So, 5mn as 4mn plus n. Uh, plus mn so that's how that's what it's going to be now in this in these two terms okay in these two terms i can take uh, 2m common in these two terms i can take 2m common and from these two terms i can take n common i can take n common okay now if i were to do that if i were to do that if i'll take 2m common uh, here 1m will be left out and here 2n will be there so as i mentioned if i'll take 2m common m is left out and 2n will be there and if i take n common same i get m plus 2n equal to 0 now take m plus 2n common if we'll take m plus 2n common so what would happen is uh, I'm left out with 2m plus n. So m plus 2n into 2m plus n equal to 0. So I have two cases basically. If a, b is 0, basically a is equal to 0 or b equal to 0. So likewise m plus 2n equal to 0 or 2m plus n equal to 0. So m equal to minus 2n or 2m equal to minus n. Uh, I want everything in terms of n. So send this 2, this 2 which you can see, send it to the other side. So m equal to minus n by 2. So case 1 is m equal to minus 2n or uh, I mean the second case is m equal to minus n by 2. Fine, all good. Now, it's going to be in two cases. Case 1, it's going to be this, m equal to minus 2n. And my second case is going to be this, m equal to minus n by 2. All good, as I mentioned. Now, next. L equal to minus of m plus n from the first equation, which I marked it as 1. Okay. Now, so now m is minus 2n, substituted here. L equal to minus of minus 2n plus n. Now, listen to me carefully. Minus 2n plus n is going to be minus n. Okay. Minus 2n plus n is going to be minus n. Uh, because negative is dominating, so final result is going to be negative. Okay, so minus of minus n is going to be plus n. Okay, it's already one minus is there outside. Internally, one minus will come. So ultimately, the result is positive. Now find out l is to m is to n. Okay, uh, l is n, and m is minus two n, and n you keep it as n. Now n is common, you can cut it off. One is to minus two is to one. This is what I would get up till now. So these are my drs. Okay, these are my drs, and I'm taking to I'm taking those drs as a one b one c one. Now, all good. Now, they are asking us to find out DCs, not DRs, okay? In this question, they are asking us to find out the DCs. Now, how to find out the DCs? It's, it's very simple. It's just DRs, these DRs, okay? The, these DRs divided by, each of them divided by square root of, you see the three terms, 1 and minus, 1 minus 2 and 1. So, I need to divide each of these terms with 1 square plus minus 2 square plus 1 square, okay? If I do that, if I do that, this is what I get. The DCs of L1 are this, as I mentioned, under root of 1 square plus minus 2 or square plus 1. Each of each of it is divided by that. And that's how I'm going to get my DCs. Very simple calculation. See, under root of 1 square is 1 and minus 2 square is 4. If you have to see, it's like 1 plus 4 plus 1. And so ultimately, I have 1 by root 6 and minus 2 by root 6 and 1 by root 6. That's it. My DCs of uh, line 1 are done. Now, let's go to case 2. If you remember, I had two cases, right? I had two cases here. M is minus n by 2. This is the second case. Now, I'm going to deal with it. Fine. Now, let's go for that case, uh, m is minus n by 2. Again, l is minus of m plus n. And from that, uh, if I were to substitute m as my, okay, I guess a step is missing. Uh, here, actually, it would be l equal to minus of 
m plus n. Now you can substitute m as uh, minus n by 2. I'm sorry for this. One step was missing. Now, now put n, m as minus n by 2. This is what I have. Minus of minus n by 2 plus n. Take LCM. So this would be minus of minus n plus this 2 would go here plus 2n uh, by 2. So that's how I get. And now minus n plus 2n is nothing but 2n minus n. 2n minus n is nothing but n. So minus of n by 2 is nothing but l is minus n by 2. Fine. Now I got l in terms of n. M, m I already know it's minus n by 2. n is just n. Now let's find out l is to m is to n. It's minus n by 2, minus n by 2 is to minus n by 2 is to n. n is common. You can just cut it off. Now see, listen, listen, these numbers are not good. I mean, this ratio is not good. We can modify it a little. In a ratio, you can multiply each term of the ratio. Like since it's it, it's in like this ratio, right? You can multiply it with some common number to make it good, okay? It's like minus one by two, all the fractions and all. We can eliminate it. Now how I'm going to multiply each term in this ratio with minus two, okay? Each term in this ratio, I'm going to multiply with minus two. Now why minus two? Because two, two would get canceled and minus into minus would be plus. So here I have one. And he, here also I'll get 1. Here I'll get minus 2. Fine. So ultimately I have 1 is to 1 is to minus 2. Now it's better, right? Instead of dealing with this, I feel this is much better. Okay. Now next, let's go ahead. This is my list of emission ratio. Again, I'm going to take these DRs as 1, 1, minus 2. I mean, these are my DRs and I took it as A2, B2, C2. Fine. Now for DCs, for DCs, a simple thing as I mentioned, divide it by, divide each of it by under root of what we have here, 1 square plus 1 square plus minus 2 whole square. That's it. That's how I get my DCs. Okay, so my DCs would be nothing but this. As you can see, each each of it is just divided by under root of one square plus one square plus minus two whole square, and then simplify it and one by one plus one plus, under root of one plus one plus four. So just simplified. That's it. These are my DCs of L two. Fine. So thank you very much for staying with me up till now. I hope you enjoy this video. Not just this video, many other videos related to direction quotients and direction ratios uh, are there. You can find its uh, link in the description. Please do check it out. Not just that, other videos are also covered. So you can check out their links as well. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. It will encourage me to make many more of such videos. And if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it. Thank you.